There's been congestion uh, at the George Massey Tunnel for many years, and uh, we've looked at, and George Massey Tunnel has always been on the Ministry of Transportation list. We knew something would have to be done there eventually. I think the Gateway Program, Portman Bridge, Pitt River Bridge, South Fraser Perimeter Road were a higher priority for the region and the province. And uh, now we're looking at the uh, Massey Tunnel. And uh, we did a couple of years of, congestion, of uh, consultation. Uh, more than 2,000 people participated. And uh, really it's congestion, reliability, uh, goods movement, uh, safety, uh, better transit, improved transit. All of those things are important to people and uh, they just want us to uh, get on with something. In terms of uh, the, the scope of the project, certainly you know, with the Fraser River, the, the width and the navigational channel, uh, channel that's required, we do see a long span bridge here. Uh, and, and, and that would be a, a technical challenge. Building a bridge like that is, is, is of course a challenge, but doing it within an existing highway corridor that's running in the, in the vicinity and keeping that traffic going and, and doing that construction is going to be a challenge. And, and we, we do envision because of that, there's going to be a, a fair amount of marine work that needs to be done. So actually building from the Fraser River and coordinating that with a, a heavy marine traffic it's a very industrial river, a well-used river, and, and doing that coordination from a materials management and logistics perspective is going to be one of the key challenges here. We have interchanges on both sides, major highway interchanges. In order to replace those and also keep the traffic moving, it's going to have to be a, 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 a quite a bit of a series of construction staging uh, where, where some uh, structures are replaced and then traffic is moved over and then you know the older bridges taken out and, and new ramps built. So again, a logistics challenge, similar to what was uh, on the Highway 1 corridor on the Portman project. So, uh, and a key component of that is communication, communicating with the, the general public so they're always aware of what those changes to the traffic patterns are going to be on a daily basis. The tunnel was innovative in its time and continues to be innovative. It's an immersed tube tunnel. Uh, technology was imported from uh, Holland and it was very new to North America. And it was a very successful project and really a showpiece for construction of that era. Uh, the challenge with that type of technology now is with the seismic requirements in the lower mainland, uh, the tunnel would not be able to uh, withstand a significant event and that would lead to the potential loss of the Highway 99 corridor. And now the team has to go out and do more technical work, uh, business case, do all the details, things that you need to do uh, to make sure the concept uh, makes sense and it, uh, it all works and, uh, and that's where we're at right now.